Get ready. Today we're taking a trip down memory lane with the Dallas Cowboys, looking into the legendary players who've donned the number 88 and their most popular sports cards. So let's get to it. Hey, hey, sports card enthusiasts. Welcome back to Southern Fried Cards. The channel where we dive deep into the world of vintage sports cards. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Oh, and that bell icon so you'll know anytime we put up new content. First up is Drew Pearson, the original 88. Although he wasn't the first person to wear 88 for the Cowboys, he was the first person to make a major impact on the organization wearing the number 88. Thus starting the legend of the 88. Now Drew Pearson played for the Cowboys from 1973 to 1983. He was known as Mr. Clutch. This was because of his ability to make the play in pivotal moments of the game. Now his most famous clutch play has to be the original Hail Mary. What a play, what a play. Now let's look at some of the process for Drew Pearson cards. Now I collect, I, I collect in collector's grade. Now if you don't know what collector's grade is, you take the, the decade the card was produced. Like this one is 1970s decade. So I try to get the Drew Pearson card in a seven. You see how that goes? Seven for 70. If it was a, an 80s card, you'd go, you'd try to find an eight. 50s card, a 5, and so forth. So I try to collect in collector's grade. It, it's a little more affordable that way. So let's look at Drew Pearson cards in collector's grade, which is a 7, remember? So we'll be looking at PSA 7s. Okay, well let's talk Drew Pearson football cards. Now in my opinion, I don't think you could ever go wrong with collecting Hall of Fame rookie cards. Therefore, his 1975 Topps rookie, uh, rookie card would be a key issue in one of the first cards I'd go after for Drew Pearson. Now, he got he has playing days cards from 1975 to 1984. Now, using VCP, let's look up the receiving leaders card from 1977 Topps Mexican. Now, the last sale of this was a $200 Buy It Now eBay auction. Well, this was in 2017, so these don't trade hands very often. So if you find one, you better pick it up. That's if you're collecting the, the Master Set or the Super Set. Now let's move on to the playmaker, Michael Irvin. He was a Dallas Cowboy from 1989 to 1999. Now... He's got a couple of rookie cards, but the most prominent rookie card is the 1989 score rookie card. Now this rookie card shows the wide receiver, the playmaker, in action. Now PSA's got a couple of sets that you can collect if you're collecting Michael Irvin. He's got his basic set, which is 100 cards. And the key card there is, of course, his rookie card. The 1989 score. They got the master set, which is 270 cards, and the the key cards in that set are the 1980, or I'm sorry, the 1996 C.E. Cowboy Memorabilia Michael Irvin card 10, and then you got the 1998 Pops Gold Label Michael Irvin Class 3 Red Label. Now these are these are more difficult to get because there's less of them. Those are some of the key cards in in the master set. Let's check out VCP and check out what a Michael Irvin rookie card, score specifically rookie card, is going for. You can get this card for around sixteen dollars in collector's grade, which would be an eight. Nineteen ninety-eight, eight. At $16, 
you might be able to get a nine or a ten for under fifty. I, I mean, but I'm collecting in collector's grade, so that would be an eight. Not a bad price for a Hall of Fame rookie. Next up, we've got Des Bryant. Now, he took over the responsibility of number 88 in 2010, and he carried it forward until 2018. Now, in 2010, the, in the NFL draft, the Cowboys traded up with the New England Patriots, moving from the 27th spot to the 24th spot to select Bryant. Now, his 2010 Topps Chrome card, number C60, is probably his, his key card. It's definitely weighted the highest in the PSA grading system. Now, you can collect the PSA set registry in two different sets. You got the basic set, which is eight cards, which is cards from 2010 and 2011. And then you can collect the master set, which is 175 cards. Now, in the master year by weight of PSA is the 2010 Don Ross Elite Aspirations Autograph, card number 168. That's a weight of eight. And then you get the 2010 Topps Chrome Autograph Refractor, card number C60. And that's a weight of 10. And then you get the 2010 Topps Ricky Premier Autograph, dual Demarius Thomas and Des Bryant card. Which that number is BT. And it has a weight of. Nine. And now for the current 88. C.D. Lamb. Is he the new hope for the legacy of 88? We shall see. At any rate, you might want to go ahead and pick up his 2020 Donruss rated rookie card. Because it may take place among the other great 88s in Cowboys lore. So there you have it, folks. The three legendary Dallas Cowboys that wore the iconic number 88 and won future hope. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to keep getting content like this, hit that subscribe button and push on that little bell so you can get all of our most current content. And remember, when it comes to collecting, dream big, start small, and it's all about the love of the cards.